Hi, this is Jeff Heller with Anderson County Schools here today to tell you how to do your gifted student service plan progress reports. We've tried to make this fairly streamlined and a fairly simple process for all of our teachers, so let's get right into it. Uh, you will be receiving an email with a list of students that you are responsible uh, for filling out. So if you go to your email, uh, here for example, it should be titled GSSP, so I'm going to open that and you'll get a, a, a spreadsheet table with a list of names. We're using Marty Mustang for our example here and then a very 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 long uh, URL hyperlink uh, which you should be able to click on that directly. Once you click on that it'll take you to your web browser and open up a Google Doc. Uh, you may need to log into Google if you're not already and uh, of course you can log in with just your Anderson County email and your standard password should get you in with no problem. Uh, if you have any problem with that, please contact me as soon as possible. And if we need to contact the help desk, whatever, we'll get that figured out pretty straightforward and pretty easily. Uh, it is important because when you fill out this form, your uh, Anderson County email shows up on it and uh, that we need to be to know who, who filled out the form. So that's how we record that. All right. so you'll see a student name and again that's pre-filled out what grade they're in and then the gifted and talented areas of identification for example this seventh grade student uh, language arts science and general intellect uh, again this is pulled directly from IC so that should be correct but if you see something you know is wrong uh, definitely don't hesitate to contact us for each student in their service plan we have four goals and uh, we want your feedback on each of those four goals so goal number one, student demonstrates achievement in the area of identification. Exceeds, meets, or needs. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one out for you. Uh, Marty is meeting expectations. We are using what service options we are using with Marty. Uh, we are doing independent projects and acceleration. Now, it could be more than that. It, you could select all of them. Uh, you might only select one, but please, you need to select at least one. And if it's something not on the list, uh, just click other. Uh, possibly it's uh, morning enrichment. Okay, you're going to want to put your name and uh, right here. Once you fill out one, it should kind of pre populate as you start. And then I want you to leave a comment. Uh, there are four goals on each student, uh, which opens up for four comments. If you could leave four comments, that would be great. Uh, parents will appreciate this and uh, it really makes our report much more meaningful. Uh, definitely at least at least do one uh, or two comments on each student. Again, this is, is, is just very important. So we're going to say Marty um, has excelled. Whoops, I knew how to spell. Marty has done very well with independent projects. His work is showing uh, growth in his area of potential. Again, uh, you're the teacher you know best. Again, the more meaningful the better. Uh, goal number two, student develops process skills in the areas of identification. Uh, Marty's done great at that, so I'm going to say he exceeds expectations. And uh, process skills that we've developed, um, possibly questioning, and uh, problem solving. Uh, again, I'm going to put my name in here. I think you're getting the idea here. Uh, and so for comments, I may say Marty. Marty is really developing in the area area of questioning. He takes leadership in dis discussions. Okay. Uh, goal number three, and I'm not going to fill these out, I think you've got it by now, uh, meet needs or exceeds. A uh, student completes high-level products, performance, and areas of identification. And you may want to specifically mention a particular project and uh, how the student did on that. But make sure you're selecting at least one of here Again, you could select all of them, put your name in, and any comments. Finally, goal number four, 
uh, develops effective skills in the areas of identification, exceeds, meets, or needs, um, self-directed learning, decision-making skills, leadership, or other. So definitely think about that and what would fit there the best. And again, comments, comments, comments. When you get all that, basically you're done. Uh, all you need to do is hit this blue submit button and those results will come to me at the board office where we can get everything printed and we'll get these sent home as soon as possible. And that's all you need to do. You will get a confirmation that says your response has been recorded. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call or an email or text me. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the email, you'll see my name, Jeffrey Eller, my phone number, and an email address. Uh, definitely want to help you out with this any way that I can. Thanks and have a great rest of the day.